Here are question number 5 and 6 on periodic functions. Well, this time you need to check the data and figure out whether it represents a periodic function or not. Question number 5 is, explain if the table below might represent a periodic function. So x and y values are given to us. x will represent the input and y is the value of the function, the output. Now for the inputs of 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 8, the outputs are 4, 3, 5, 4, 3, 5, and so on. Question number 6 is, explain that the table below might represent a periodic function. So same question, right? But the data here is, x values are 1 1.1, 1.3, 1.5, 1.7, 1.9, 2.1. And the y values, the output is, minus one zero one minus one zero one now you can pause the video answer the question so question number five and six do they represent a periodic function or not here is my suggestion if you notice the output is periodic four three five four three five it repeats but there's a catch the input one two four five six is not regular do you see the gap here so it is 1, 2, 4. So we have missed 3 here, right? And then 5, 6, 7. We missed 7 here, right? So it goes, so we don't know in between what's happening. Is that okay? So since we missed that step, we are not sure whether this could be periodic or not. So this function, we will say not periodic, right? So we say not periodic in this case. But here, the input is absolutely clear. It is increasing by 0.2, right? 1.1, 1.3, 1.5. So delta x, let me say input, is equals to 0 0.2. It is constant. And for a constant increase in the input, we do have a constant change in the output. And what we see here is it is minus 1, 0, 1. Then again, minus 1, 0, 1. So it repeats. So the pattern repeats at regular intervals of time. And therefore, this does represent a periodic function. So this is, yes, it is a periodic function. So that is how we can see the data and kind of correlate it with periodic function. Thank you.